Hey guys, what's happening? I thought today we would take a look at this guy right here, which is a base plate for the Node MCU. Which, if you don't know the Node MCU, it is an Arduino compatible uh, development board based off of the uh, 806. 8266 module you can see the uh, 8266 is right on there and uh, it uses the CH340 USB to serial interface and these things are incredibly cheap uh, less than five dollars it is a 3.3 volt board with built-in Wi-Fi so what we've got here is the breakout board for it which is not necessarily necessary but it could be useful so <clears throat> we've got these four rows of pins here which correspond to these pins on the node MCU and then we have this row of pins here as well whoops be helpful if I had that in the shot. This row of pins here as well. Then we have um, USB power, 5 volt power, UI power, and then back here we have 3 volt power. But as you're going to see, it's got um, power just about everywhere. And we've got a few components here on the board. This is an IF8DD, which is a voltage regulator. And this guy here is an inductor that it looks like somebody took a bite out of. So anyway, I thought we'd stick her on here. And take a look. Now, one of the reasons I wanted, I wanted to do this was because when I first opened this up and started looking at it, I wasn't quite sure about all the pins. So I bring in the meter here, and it is in continuity mode. And what I wondered was, are all four of these pins broken out to, you know, the same pin up here, or are they, you know, one signal pin? and you know power to ground or whatnot so if we look at for instance the d0 pin here and then and can you hear that let me move my hands over here maybe this will work better <laughs> kind of hard to get in here okay so you can see we've got continuity on all those pins and the same if we uh, go off the 3 volt pin here and we hit the 3 volt here all four of those are 3 volt come up here where it says 3 volt and all these 3 volt pins are all tied together as well Another 3 volt here so what about the power Well, if we come over here and we look at the ground, we can see all these ground pins are all tied together. And there's a lot of them. Now, this is the one that says VU, which I think goes to this USB here. Yep. But it doesn't touch the 5 volt pins or the UI pins. Now this one up here that says VN goes to the 5 volt. So up here on the breakout board we have the AMS1117 
Let's zoom in here a little bit. Right here is the AMS1117, which is a 3.3 uh, volt regulator. So, we've also got, I believe, an LED here. Let's take the meter out. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get this, other than the fact that it was ridiculously cheap, is the size of the uh, Node MCU, which is also known as the ESP82662012 uh, E. If we put it on the breadboard here, you can see it is not exactly a breadboard friendly device. I mean, it'll go into a breadboard, but there are no available pins on either side of it. So if you wanted to use it with a breadboard, what you would have to do is take two breadboards together and bridge it like that. Which, you know, generally is not a problem. I mean, if you're into this electronics hobby, then uh, you probably have quite a few breadboards sitting around. But if you're new to it, you might not. So for the price, and I think this was about $3, now you've got all of the input slash output pins that you could uh, possibly want. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to uh, comment, share, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you still got time before our St. Patrick's Day giveaway. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.